Yep. <laughs> Amateur artist Mar D. Chandler here from Man Land. Bone come up. He's going to spend a couple nights with us there. It's a Sunday. And uh, I decided to build a fire with wet wood. And <laughs> it's been wet. So uh, Bone is actually cooking under the carport there, cooking some uh, Western style ribs and uh, a few pork chops and such as that nature right there. And you may be wondering why we're not cooking on the campfire. The answer to that is simply, <laughs> it's a hot fire. <laughs> so he wanted to cook on the coals there to get it done properly according to his chef's taste. But uh, I just wanted to show you this right here right quick because I still got a lot of videos to upload for the VU or from the VU, the VU 5. And I appreciate you being patient with me as I upload. But there's a reason why I'm showing you this here, this here fire. Let me turn it on around so I can take a look at what I'm looking at here through the viewfinder. Man, oh man, as Bill Gowdy would say. That right there is a hot, hot fire. You know, this fire has been going since about 11 o'clock this morning. It is now close to, I don't know, the time has changed. I'm going to say it is around getting across 4 o'clock now. Sun is going down in that area. Yeah, because we ain't got much daylight left. Uh, now, this right here on the outside edge is pine. And it's wet pine. It's from pine logs that I had out here. And these really wet pieces of pine over here in the rack. But not as wet as the ones we use for the so-called trimming and decorations here along the entrance here at Manlian. But this wood that's burning right here, predominantly most of it, is from a wood that I cannot identify. And it seems to work just like oak. Or maybe that's walnut. I'm not sure what this stuff is. I want to show you the tree right quick. I didn't actually yeah, use the chainsaw to do the, to do the deed. I want to show you the tree that that wood came from. It doesn't light up right away. But man, when it does catch up, it burns hot. But it's a very long-lasting wood. And uh, there's the neighbor's house. Sorry about the shake of the, the cam there. Should hold it a little bit better. Anybody can give me an idea of what this wood is. Let me show you what's on the ground here. Some huge limbs have fallen from the tree. Been there for a while. The tree, of course, is dead. That's the tree there. I'm thinking... Because I'm not a tree expert, and you really can't tell because of the silhouette there. The sun's on the wrong side, and I'm not going to try to walk all the way around. we got a limb there that's hanging by some vines. But that appears to be, I'm thinking, some type of walnut. But I'm not a tree expert. And I'm not seeing walnuts out here. But that's what it's reminding me of. There's a little better close-up there. My camera, according to the viewfinder, is showing a... A blue tint but that's actually a greenish gray and it does have a mold on it and look at that right there wow that dude right there it is cracked it's gonna end up falling here for too long it's actually split pretty much the whole main trunk of that tree is split you can't really see that too well but anyway so the tree is on the fence line, I'm going to ask the neighbors there. They don't mind me going ahead and just cutting it on down because of safety reasons. But right now, that appears to be some good cooking wood. Now, turn it back around. I didn't realize the light was on. Yeah. So, just wanted to show you that video. And from what little video footage you can see without actual good detail photograph, if you can tell me what type of wood that is. I'm thinking that it may actually be sweet gum. It's kind of crazy the bark that it is. The pieces we burnt had all that mold on it like it usually attaches to oak trees and such. Wow. I say I'm just an amateur. But I know that this here wood is burning hot. It's burning long. And Bone said he actually cooked on some of this wood here a few weeks ago when he cooked out here for us. And said we didn't die from it, so it's a good cooking wood, it appears. That dude has got some heat going on. Yeah. So, until next time, this is Amateur Artist and Marty Channel. Once again, 
here at Manland. Y'all take them easy and take them care. Enjoy your Sundays while you can. I definitely am. It's finally got some cool weather out right here where I can actually get out and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. See, I told you, bones under the car for it, grilling while he's chilling. Got them western style ribs going on. A few poke chops. Mm. Just one. Just one. Chef Bone Jar D. We got a sample to make sure it's safe for everyone to eat. You want barbecue sauce on? Nope, I don't. They might, but I don't. No salt and pepper added. Hmm. Just let you know. Just marinade? Yeah. And your secret injection? Dale! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dale and all that other kind of stuff. That's edible. You know, sometimes this is real, very good without barbecue sauce. Yeah. Because it hides the flavor. But it's like cooking a steak. You're going to get over there and pour a... Uh, steak sauce or something steak on Steak sauce on the top. <laughs> like, you can't even taste the flavor of the steak. I'm like, come on. Yep. They eat like they want to eat. I like my meat. Simple. That. It makes it go night-night. Hope I'm in frame. I don't know. I got the, the flash on the camera here working and the sunlight back there amongst the trees. It smells good though. Yeah, it ain't that good. Smells real good. Take down canola oil you had. That's perfect. It's done. At least it's a little thin so like this. Mm. No salt, no pepper, just Dale's. Well, it's Dale's and seasoning. That's another seasoning. I hate to show y'all the bite there. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but tender, tender, tender. Full of flavor. It's gonna be some good grilling here. Wish y'all can join us from time to time. You might actually get you might actually find out what it's like to eat a professional chef's cooking. Cause you can't afford Chef Ramsey, but you can afford bone jar cooking. That's right. No diggity, no doubt. The only thing that he has to it is beer. I guess. <laughs> you know what we've done to boo? Uh, Ranger Cookie Strand, what's his name? Mr. Full Auto AK-47. Oh, Captain uh, Thumper Thumper. Yeah, he tell me what, you know, what he did for a living. He said, what do I do for a living? I said, I, you know what I told uh -oh. I said, I'm a chef. <laughs> <laughs> chef Bone Jardine. I'm a chef. Y'all make sure you check out Captain Thumper Thumper. I found his channel. was able to subscribe to him. He's actually getting some videos uploaded now. The last one he just posted was from the VU-5. I have seen that. And, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure what camera he's using, but you know my internet connection made it look like it's all JPEGy. But I think he's going to be a pretty daggum good addition to our get-together. No doubt. Oh, I forgot to show y'all this. Got myself a new hat. Yeah. I bought it for Halloween. I figured I was going to go incognito. You know, Kevin Fly, you can't see me, that type of deal. <laughs> yeah. It's a mossy oak, cowboy style type of hat. And, uh, well, I kind of want to change up a little bit. Actually, I bought this for the Halloween get together. The Headless Horseman video y'all saw. Yeah. That's where this hat came from. You didn't get to see it in the video itself because I was busy. Shooting my boss man out there. Not shooting him literally. I mean, videotaping him while he was doing his walk around on the horsey there. Without his head, of course. Hmm. Uh, I had to come back out here to the camp with the campfire. So there's a campfire right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, left my chainsaw out here. So the meal is ready to eat. And I'm just going to go there and dig into a good tasty plate that Bones Yard has sat there and cooked. And, uh, well, he can't turn down his cooking, I'm telling y'all. Yeah, I consider myself a very excellent cook myself. But, like I've always said, the best cooking is always somebody else's cooking when they know how to cook. you dead gum right. <sighs> Just remember this here, folks. No matter where you're at, where you are, where you're traveling to, y'all have a safe one out there. 
And remember, the man upstairs is always watching, and he should be watching over you, not just looking at you.